third day and our last destination, Toruń. Beautiful city filled with Gothic architecture, house of Nicolaus Copernicus and delicious gingerbreads. It's definitely a place worth visiting. We got up early and drove to Toruń. Too hungry to travel, we looked around for some breakfast. We ate at a pancake shop called Manekin. They have a variety of sweet and savory flavors pancakes. This is still with a blueberry jam and a sour cream sauce, I guess, or sweet cream. This one is special. It's a chocolate pancake with a gingerbread topping and a plum soft in wine and some cream sauce. This pancake is filled with a cottage cheese topped with some fresh fruits and a, it's like a raspberry confiture. Welcome to Toruń, one of the oldest cities in Poland. It was first built in 8th century, expanded more in the 13th century. We are now in front of Nicholas Copernicus house. The house dates back to 1370. The new town market square in Toruń is the central point of the new town designed in 1264. Since the beginning of the 14th century, the center of the square has been occupied by the new town hall. Located in the center of all the city market square, the old town hall is one of the biggest and most magnificent of its kind in Europe. It was built under the privilege of Teutonic Grandmaster Conrad von Wallerod of the century. Dating from 1274, it was raised to the current height of 40 meters in 1385. Old walls surrounding Torun was very thick. The Leaning Tower is undoubtedly the most attractive and famous tower in Toruń, built as a part of city walls in the 14th century. The tower leaned as early as Middle Ages and has a tilt of about one and a half meters. In the 18th century, it ceased to be used for defensive purposes. The tower was converted into a women's prison. Nowadays, it's used by Toruń Cultural Department. The defensive walls of Torun had 54 45 towers, 11 gates, and two typical barbicans. Only 9 towers and 3 gates left until today.
Defensive walls along Vistula River. Due to road renovation, we can only see inner side of the walls. The road on the outside will be closed until the end of 2023. Sailing Gate lost defensive meaning after the capture of the city by Swedish army of Charles XII, 1703. Bridge gate was built in 1432 by Hans Gotland in front of ferry crossing, replaced with wooden bridge at the end of 15th century. This building dates from 1489. Bricks from the Teutonic castle destroyed by Torrance townspeople were probably used to build this mansion in 19th century. Monstrance Tower is one of the nine defensive towers preserved to this day within the city walls of Torin. We came to see the castle ruins. Nowadays, the only remains of the castle are Gdanisko, a former lavatory tower, and picturesque ruins that serve as a background for many concerts, festivals and tournaments. We are now in Torin Castle. It's the 14th century castle of Teutonic Order. It's part of medieval town of Torun and one of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Poland. Little of the castle survived till today. Gdanisko is a tower that belongs to the oldest castle buildings. In the Middle Ages, it serves as a main castle toilet and, if necessary, also as the tower of final defense. It was erected on arcades so that water could flow under it, carrying impurities. If you are in Torun, you have to try the local gingerbreads. The gingerbread was made here as early as 13th century. You can get to know more about them in the local gingerbread museum.
Old towns have unique beauty and culture that should be preserved for next generations to see. We don't have to destroy the old ones to build the new, modern buildings. In places such as this, the old city is preserved and well taken care of, and newer cities built surrounding it. It was the final video of our three days travel. There is still more to see in Torun, but hope to come back in more pleasant weather. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!